trying this again. Uh, I was I was weirdly kicked off. My phone froze. I restarted it. I'm I'm not a, a technically blessed man at the moment. And I'm I'm wearing a pig mask. This isn't like who I am as a person. I just put this on for the thumbnail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off now. Oh. All right. So I have masks to paint. I might get some of you guys back. There's 20 some folks watching before. I don't even know if this is really going live because my phone is being tricksy and false. So there you go. It's the Buena Vista Haunt Club. Somebody is watching. Hooray! Uh, so I, in the meantime, I've switched, and I've got a pig in here that I'm going to knock out his teeth real quick. Meaning I'm going to paint them. So I don't know if I have the same people back. But someone mentioned right before it cut off, I think, they said, you're the only person I've seen detail with a single action airbrush. And I say, nay, nay. Uh, Steve Wang does all his work with a, uh, with a single action airbrush. He's the Pash AH, same one that I use. So, um, no, uh, Steve Wang painted the Predator. Steve Wang painted the Gill Man from Monster Squad. Steve Wang painted the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park with a Pache H. This guy right here. Single action. You can get great detail out of it. You clean it, take care of it. It's actually way more reliable. Than it's just, it's more likely to clog. So I would rather go with one that's going to work more times than not. All right, so again, I'm kind of knocking through teeth right now, it seems. Yeah, I can do his teeth now. There's an order, you know, normally teeth are one of the last things that I paint, but uh, I don't mind doing the teeth on this guy now. Uh, I think I do mind using this brush. I think this brush is dead. It's, uh, I can't get it to unmushroom garbage. Next. Brushes are tools. The tool isn't working, throw it out. How much did that brush cost you? If, you're, if that brush costed you a dollar, well, and you spend five minutes cleaning it, What's your time worth per hour? Sometimes it's not worth it. Great, super. Okay. Uh, you know what? This guy is right here. And my airbrush is right here. Let's do this. One of the things I always try and do with my airbrush is write my name. If I can write my name in cursive, then uh, you know that's that tells me that I'm I'm in pretty good shape. Little cursive Allen right there. Um, is the Harbor Freight airbrush uh, B for antique? -y? I think you mean best for antiquing, and we had some thumb keypad errors there. Uh, I love it. 
there's always a Harbor Freight airbrush hooked up on my, I, this, my air hose runs to two, it goes into a regulator, then it splits off, and it's got both. Detail, cannon. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, this guy I want to liven up a little bit, so I'm actually going to crank my way up and put out a lot. And I think I'm running out of air. Let me check my compressor, okay, guys? I'm on a different compressor because I killed my other one yesterday. Don't do anything weird while I'm gone. Okay, sad day in Mudville. It was my compressor. I am running out of air. And I don't want to turn on that compressor because my big compressor is outside of the shop. So I probably won't do much more airbrushing this evening like I was hoping to do. All right, the blue Action Harbor Freight airbrush is awesome. Um, my, I'm about to, I'm gonna end shortly. I know, I can't run the compressor right now, but what I need to do, you guys are talking about airbrushes. These are Harbor Freight airbrushes. Simple dual action airbrush. People don't have the finger dexterity to control how much they push down the button. It's very hard to push this down just a little bit. Okay, and I just saw a question. It's like a big question and answer session. I'm fine with that. Let's go back over here. Yeah, the Harbor Freight airbrushes, the $20 ones, they're fine. Uh, that's what I recommend for starting, starting out. But someone had a question. Thoughts on aging, dulling, mattifying leather. New shoes are a little too shiny. Okay, if it's costume, if it's for a costume, I would put a dulling color of your choice in this guy and just cast away with it. Because uh, this is gonna give you a nice mist over the whole shoe. Um, but if it's not a costume shoe, I don't wanna give you advice about shoes you wear all the time. Um, if something is too shiny, honestly, most of the time, touching it with your hands a lot, while you're watching TV, pick your shoe up, put it in your lap, and just put, run your hands over it. Oil in your hands is going to knock that shine right off of there. Or, if it's for costume purposes, put something like a diluted leather dye in this airbrush, $10 Harbor Freight, and spray it out, my friend. Give it a mist. But, uh, I'm going to wrap up for the night. Uh, there is, I can't do the thing, Ninja Finger. Yeah, yeah, you need a ninja finger. Who's got ninja fingers? You can, you can control how much you pull back, but not how much you push down. And most people, their fingers, as soon as you, you, you're controlling what you're pushed down, if you have to pull back, that changes. That's very hard to do. So a single action, I'm going to get just air, 
which is kind of the other one I get just paint and my adjustment for how much paint I get is here screwing it down closes the cone giving me a fine line screwing it open opens the cone giving me a broad blast and see those rings on there there's three rings right here those tell me that's a number three tip I can get a number four tip which is finer or number five three fits the bill for me and this is like not precision you can get a line about a quarter inch wide minimum with this sucker but so good for coverage and detail but it's late I'm gonna stop I'm gonna be going live all freaking day okay tomorrow so I'll be in the shop working on things so you guys are great uh, thank you so much for watching and for sharing your evening with me uh, you guys have so many options of what to do and what to watch and who to hang out with um, I, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I'm making stuff and speaking of that go make stuff bye